Hey designer Alex here welcome to the channel and in today's video we are actually going to use Figma because I had a request from one of my followers on Instagram as to how to create something like this. Uh, obviously this uh, kind of a complex animation and structure is not really possible to create in any kind of design software whether that's uh, Adobe XD or Figma or any other software but I'm going to uh, still break it down and kind of show you how to create something similar to get a buy-in from your clients and then we are going to uh, dig a little bit deeper into how to actually create something like this in tools like Webflow. So here we have the slider on the side and you can see that the mouse is following the background and when I slide down, images are going to switch, text is going to switch and this arrow is going to go to the next slide, same like I go down and you can see that the background color is actually changing but we still have this exactly the same effect going on in the background when I start scrolling and of course when you want to actually see the case study in question when you hover your mouse over you're going to see the circle and it's going to follow your mouse wherever you point it inside of this box so when I go to the next slide you can see how it looks like so let's first dig a little bit into how to create this in Webflow and how to structure it so we have a container which is this entire background and inside of that container we have this gradient and it's set to uh, on hover and to follow a mouse so when your mouse follows wherever it goes gradient it's going to animate then we have this section in the center I mean the container in the center which can just be div for example and this div is holding these images now these images have two interactions in place one is for the mouse so once again follow the mouse wherever your mouse follows inside of this container it's going to show this view case study circle with the arrow inside but just notice when I move my mouse outside of this container it disappears and the image goes to its original position so it just enlarges the image and just shows this circle and when I move outside you can see how it looks like then we have this nice smooth effect when I start scrolling down you can see how the image sort of starts bouncing and then it switches down we just have the simple switch for the text we have the simple switch for the arrow so it just goes from this direction into this direction and obviously you don't have this bounce on tablet and on mouse it's just a straight one two like this so you don't have this bounce effect it just goes from one slide to the other but basically the structure here is the same here it changed the background gradient from this gradient to this gradient and then to this gradient but the effect when you move your mouse is still exactly the same so you can copy and paste the effect you just change the gradient in the background and here we have exactly the same circle it's completely white so when I switch right here you can see view case study so it goes from the smallest size so you can animate the size and you can animate the opacity of the circle when you move inside so it goes to this size which is the size it's going to keep and when you go outside this is the size it's going to disappear and obviously you have your normal hover effect right here and this is your menu button right here so this is the highly complex um, setup in Webflow you can achieve it it's completely possible but here is how it looks like in Figma so I just went ahead and copy this layout a little bit so when I tap it's going to wait a little bit and then move right here so you can see that the text is changing the image is changing and this arrow is changing on the side as well as with the background gradient so same story like it is right here but they only have this uh, hover effect on the background which is going to follow which is not really possible to recreate in a design software but I think this approach is good enough to get a buy-in from your clients and they're going to approve it if they like it and then you can move on to Webflow to create the more complex animations like these because as I said it's not really possible to create mouse uh, on hover and to follow uh, effects in design software like Figma or XD but when I click once again you can see that the background gradient is changing it's going to this color arrow is moving right here text is moving right here and image is going right here so let's jump into Figma and let me show you how to create it All right, so here we are in Figma and these are the slides which I set uh, up. 
these are the frames and you can see that the 4040 is the size of the frame 1024 so just the default frame that you get in figma you can press f on your keyboard and you can come right here and you can see it's this one for the desktop so 1440 with 1024 so if i zoom a little bit closer just so you can see the setup once again and go ahead and click right here and open up this frame they are exactly the same we have the background setup right here and you can see that the fill to this image is set to 100 effects are layer blur so if you click right here you can see we have a really high layer blur of values and all i did for all of these images is simply move them around and adjusted the exposure contrast saturation temperature tint all of these settings to get a little bit different results so you can see here we have a bit of a green tint and here we are moving towards the orange tint which is kind of what they are doing right here on this website they're just more dramatic with the colors so here we have orange here we have red here we have a uh, kind of a pinkish uh, i don't know sort of a peach color with the green and here we have completely green background so Basically, these backgrounds are just taking colors from these images, but you can, of course, manually override them because here the dominant color is black, obviously, but they are just taking the hues from this, uh, this red color in the image. And here they're kind of taking cues from the background, from the sky and from the jacket. But of course, you can manually override that and include your own values. And I'm going to create a Webflow tutorial in the future. Now I'm just showing you how to create it to get a buy-in from your clients. So let's go back to the setup. What we have right here is the 12 column layout. So completely standard. So we have just regular button right here. Uh, which is the auto layout then we have the timeline uh, right here and all i did was basically created an arrow using a simple triangle then we have these main lines which are these bigger lines and then we have smaller lines which are these lines in the center to create a sort of a timeline effect then we have slider info frame if i open it up we have recent work right here and we have a mask which is another frame which is going to hold the text inside all I did for the text is for this first one, if I select it, you can see we have first project, second project, which is a little bit further down. And then the third project, it is just going to give us that nice flying effect, which I showed you right here. So if I go back to the start, click right here, you can see how the text sort of flies in. It pushes the text right here on the top. And this bottom text is kind of flying into place, which is what they originally have on that website. You can see it here as well. So that's why I position it like that. In terms of images, we just have another frame for slider images. Then we have color overlay, which is just a linear gradient. You can see it right here. And it's just going to help with readability of this white text. Then we have first image second image third image all of them stacked on top of each other and they're just going to push so you can see this is the first image still here and then this is the second image but if i click inside and show you it pushed the first image right here to the top and moved the third image right here into place waiting to come right here which is the same story as with this they just have this mask and a bit more complex layout with a hover effect resizing the image and so on so that's it for the slider image and finally what i did for the prototypes let's just close all of these frames a little bit what i did is if i switch you over to prototype i did two things so for the slide one to the slide one delay what i did is i used click slide one delay is the target so we have navigate to slide one delay animation is going to be smart animate is out and 300 milliseconds so quite fast then we have the next one which is the delay to this uh, second artboard and if i click on my delay you can see we have 1000 milliseconds which is basically one second is in out and the duration of the transition which is smart animate once again is 1000 milliseconds i mean one second and basically i just went ahead and copied and pasted all of them so once again if i switch you back to the original slide click and you can see after the delay it's going to start positioning once again background color is changing arrow is moving into place text is changing with a slight bit of a delay and i push the top text uh, up a little bit and then we have this image which is changing once again finally when i click right here you can see how the third image looks like and basically it's exactly the same setup as here it's just a bit more complex but that's the whole point you don't have to spend too much time on this 
if you don't get a buying from your client if your client really likes this approach then you can go ahead and experiment a little bit further with the hover effect right here and with this case study button but do it in webflow if they like it in webflow it's fine just move on if they don't like it then you just refer back to your original uh, layout which is kind of the point right here you just want to get a buying from your client and for them to agree with you and confirm this layout and say that it's fine thank you so much for watching this tutorial i really hope you found it useful if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel i upload new videos all the time every single week all about ui ux design Adobe XD and Figma in this case. So if you liked it, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.